Minds, Agriculture, Water, and the Rural Settlement, Chief Air Marshal, Retired Perenshiri. The Minister of State for Arare Metropolitan Province, Engineer Oliver Chidao. Your Excellency, the USA Ambassador to Zimbabwe, Your Excellency, Brian Nichols. The John Deere management staff who are here, senior government officials who are here, representatives from the private sector, representatives of farmer unions, farmers, ladies and gentlemen, comrades and friends. I feel greatly honored to officiate at this important occasion, which marks the launch of the John Deere Mechanization Facility. By way of background, on 7th November 2018, I was pleased to receive the president of John Deere Agriculture Worldwide, Mr. Mark Von Pentis, who paid me a Kate's call at my Monomtapa offices. It was during that occasion that John Deere informed me about his company's interest in partnering Zimbabwe in our mechanization program. I was skeptical at the time because they are based in America. And I think you can appreciate the reason why. But I'm extremely pleased that today we stand here two years down the line with the evidence of the private sector from America, the United States of America, cooperating with us in our endeavor to modernize and uh, mechanize our economy. For that, we need to send a message of gratitude to President Trump and his administration for this gesture. <clears throat> I want to commend the team from both my government and John Deere management, who helped in the consummation of this mechanization facility. Agriculture occupies a central place in the economy of our nation and accounts for 20% of the country's GDP, 33% of formal employment in our country and provides 65% of raw materials requirement into agro-industries and accounts for 70% of rural livelihoods. As such, Agriculture is a sure pathway out of poverty and a precondition for economic growth and prosperity of our country. Cognizant of the importance of the sector, my government has made agriculture transformation and the attainment of food self-sufficiency, one of its key priorities. Hence, the launch of this facility is timely and a part of the journey we embarked on towards the realization of these objectives. It further attests to the commitment by my government 
to work with various partners and investors guided by the Zimbabwe is open for business mantra to grow and prosper our economy so that our people enjoy a better quality of life. And to achieve this, we need to cooperate and to be embraced as we also embrace other members of the international community. This is why we have the re-engage engage and re-engagement policy. The coming in of John Deere agriculture worldwide into the agriculture value chain in our country also bears testimony to the success of our engagement and re-engagement policy we introduced. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our pastor, Senior Colonel Kudia, hmm? yeah, Kudia. Yeah, Kudia, talked about the wisdom of Solomon. Uh, I'm not talking about the wives. <laughs> <laughs> you mentioned that he was able to feed his household with the 20 heads of cattle on a daily basis. That was agriculture. And this is what we are doing. So you made a correct cut of the Bible. Out of a total Arab area of 4.31 million hectares, 1 million hectares is under drought animal power. Only half a million hectares are under tractor power, with the balance of 2.8 million hectares requiring farm mechanization. And this is the journey we are walking. This partnership with John Deere Mechanization Facility is therefore a welcome development as it will assist our farmers with the much needed mechanization solutions. I thus exhort farmers who will benefit from this initiative to effectively deploy this assortment of equipment to ensure timely land preparations and an increased planted hectare in the next summer cropping season with an increased yield per hectare. The facility is worth 51 million US dollars and will unlock 1,300 tractors, as already stated, eight combine harvesters, 600 planters, 200 disc harrows, 100 boom sprayers, and 100 trailers. It is commendable that John Deere has appointed a local agent, Afgri, Zimbabwe, to ensure that the equipment is well maintained. I am informed that the company will also contract other local mechanics with garages in all the provinces as part of its dealership network. This is important and dovetails well with our devolution thrust and the quest to build vibrant provincial economies with the supporting infrastructure and services 
spread out. This John Deere mechanization facility will also help ensure ensuring the success of our agriculture recovery plan, which is meant to ensure that Zimbabwe achieves self-sufficiency in the production of cereals. Under the recovery plan, it is envisaged that 5,000 capable farmers with a proven track record in cereal production will be contracted. These farmers will be supported through access to irrigation infrastructure development, mechanization and input support, as well as enhanced extension services. Government has identified banks for partnerships in the successful delivery of this scheme for its implementation. The selection of beneficiaries is based on credit worthiness, not names. Credit worthiness of the farmers is assessed by the Commercial Bank of Zimbabwe CBZ, Stanbic Bank, whilst Agribank is establishing a special equipment leasing vehicle for the purposes of mechanization service provision, especially combined harvesting. On our part, government under the irrigation development program will continue to support the procurement and in installation of center pivots and other equipment and mechanization on farms throughout the country. Furthermore, the summer and the winter input support programs, as well as technical and extension services, are ongoing. I have promised the Minister of uh, Lands, Honorable Shiri, that I will give, donate to them 5,000 motorcycles. So there should be no village which they cannot visit. <laughs> Let me take this opportunity to challenge the public and the private institutions, as well as farmers in the agriculture sector to work together to ensure coordinated production, marketing and financing of the agriculture sector. As we moved around, we arrived at uh, a small tractor. How many horsepower was that? 50. A 50 horsepower little tractor. So I was telling Graham Scott that in 1958, my father bought me my first tractor. It was 65 horsepower, 1958. Then the secretary for land says, oh, he was only born a year later. <laughs> but now, of course, from that uh, 65 horsepower, which was bought by my father in 1958, I now have a 200 210 horsepower. Increased production and productivity must ultimately result not only in itself sufficient and exports, but in the creation of decentralized industry systems, especially in rural areas. To achieve this, I appeal for more unity of purpose, collaboration, cooperation among all stakeholders. In conclusion, I want to thank the John Deere team for the confidence they have shown in our country through this investment in our agriculture sector. 
I'm optimistic that our partnership shall remain symbiotic, enduring, and mutually beneficial. To our farmers who are going to benefit from this facility, I exhort you all to use this equipment for the betterment of yourselves in terms of production and the mechanization of your agricultural work. If we used to harvest three tons per hectare, and they get this equipment and they continue to harvest three tons per hectare, surrender it back to us. God bless you all. God bless Zimbabwe. I thank you.